Sketching rational functions. This is the first part of a multi-part series on sketching rational functions. And this one will focus on um, the behavior of the function near x equals 0. Uh, the learning goals for this video include being able to recognize a rational function. That means if you're given a function, you should be able to identify it as being a rational function. And you, by the end of this video, you should be able to approximate a rational function near the origin by a power function. And to do so, we're going to talk about a technique called uh, asymptotic approximation. And finally, you should be able to sketch a rational function near the origin. In subsequent videos, we'll add more parts of the rational function to your sketch. But for now, we'll just focus on uh, sketching it near the origin. So a rational function is a function that takes the form p of x over q of x, where both p and q are polynomials. So let's consider an example, and we'll use this example as our first sketching example. Uh, imagine we have the function f of x equal x squared plus 2x, all divided by 5x minus 1. So x squared plus 2x is a quadratic function, so it's a polynomial, and that would correspond up here to the function p of x. 5x minus 1 is also a polynomial, it's a linear function, and that would correspond to the q of x function here. So what we see is a polynomial divided by a polynomial, so this function is a rational function. So how do we approximate the behavior of this function near the origin? Well, if you recall from uh, previous lessons, we know that this p of x can be approximated using asymptotics in the following way. When p of x is very small, let's say, sorry, when, when x is very small, let's say 0 0.01. So we plug that in here, and we get 0 0.01 all squared plus 2 times 0 0.01. Now you'll notice when we multiply this out, we get a very small number here and a somewhat small number here. Uh, and so adding those two up, we see 0 0.0201. Now this number, 0 0.0201, is very close to the number 0 0.02. That 0 0.0001, when we added it, did not make much of a difference. And the reason for that is when you square 0 0.01, it becomes much smaller than when you multiply it by 2. So what we're going to be able to do then is approximate p of x by simply x, sorry, by 2x, ignoring the x squared part of the function. And this is only going to work if we're sufficiently close to x equals 0. And in this case, sufficiently close depends on uh, the coefficient here, for example. And you can think a little bit more about for what values of x does this approximation work and when does it break down. So that is an approximation for p of x. We can do a similar thing for q of x. And oh, let's see, q, what, let's write down what q of x is. It's going to be 5x minus 1. And you note if we plug in a small number here, then multiply that small number by 5, it'll still be a small number compared to 1 as long as we choose x close enough to 0. So this function will be able to approximate it by ignoring all but the lowest degree part of the polynomial, which means keeping only the minus 1. So we did the same thing here. We took the linear term and we drop the quadratic term. Now, because we also have a constant term, we're going to drop the linear term and only keep the constant term. So you may ask, when do you keep a quadratic and when do you keep a linear? It just depends on how much of an approximation you're willing to make. So now we have an approximation for p and q, and these are what we call asymptotic approximations. So now let's put those together and get an approximation for f. So f of x, which was originally defined as x squared plus 2x over 5x minus 1, we're going to approximate that by approximating both the numerator and the denominator. So in the numerator, we get 2x. And in the denominator, we just have minus 1. 
So f of x is approximately equal to minus 2x near x equals 0. And again, we can plug in values to see how close to 0 we need to be in order for this approximation to work. Okay, so what does that tell us about sketching near the origin? So I'm going to draw a bigger graph than I need because I'm going to be focusing just on a small region here. So let's see, f of x, when I plug in x equals 0, you can see that approximately or exactly gives me 0 in either of these two. So I know that this is going to be right on the function. Now if I'm very close to the origin, then these approximations I made earlier will be relatively good. And so I can just approximate the function by a straight line with slope minus 2. So eventually this will start to change, and we can look later at how it starts to change. But for now, let's leave it as an approximation of the function for values of x close to 0. And from our numbers over here, we could probably guess that we won't be too far from this linear if we're, let's say, within 0 0.01 of the origin. Further than that, it may not work so well. And that is how you approximate a function uh, using asymptotics near the origin.